Hello and welcome along and welcome back to the Valley of the Old Farm. Uh, it is midsummer. We've had a lot of rain overnight. Uh, it's dry now, but we've got rain on the way. Uh, as you can see here, it's going to be a wet, wet day here on the farm. And we're actually looking at wet days for the next few days, which is not great. Uh, especially considering what we have to do. Uh, because we have taken on two contracts. In fact, here comes the rain now. Oh, absolutely brilliant. It is, yeah, it is going to be a wet, wet day. Uh, so what we've got to do today is we've picked up a couple of contracts. One of them we're not going to be able to touch uh, today, definitely. Harvesting uh, barley in field 56, uh, we, we're not going to be able to do that. So we're going to take on the baling today. Uh, this was the baling contract that came up last time. Uh, 24,000 is just, we can't avoid that. So we're going to be doing that later. What we're going to start off with today is this. Our animals are in need of cleaning and water and straw and food and all of that. So we're going to start off on that, uh, seeing as we've got the rain coming in. Ah, uh, it's a real pity. This much rain, I think we're going to be very unlikely to get that harvesting contract done. It's uh, it's quite a um, it's going to be quite a uh, a wet crop that's sitting in that field, and we have whoop, and we have basically two days in order to get that done. So uh, that is not something I think we're going to be able to get done. Let's get this put back. There we go. Uh, so yeah, it's it's going to be a case that we have to get uh, the other bits done, and uh, and 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 that that grass contract, that baling contract, that should be fine for us. But uh, yeah, we're we're not going to get that harvesting done anytime soon. Uh, we need to get our front loader back on here because we've got to give everything to our animals. So customize that. Let's put our front loader back on. Did we, hang on, did we have our front loader on here already? We did. Okay, so we do have our front loader on here. We don't need to go and customize that and get that back on. We just need to go and find our front loader, which I believe is somewhere up the top. Uh, and make sure that we get our animals fed. Uh, we have some, I think we still have some hay up here. If we time this right, we'll get a full load of hay in. Uh, yeah, we still have some hay on the trailer. Uh, and we still have our front loader up here. So let's maneuver ourselves in to pick that up. There we go. And connect it. Uh, and we need to pop around the side and go and get ourselves the bale spike, which is in here. Yeah, there it is. Along with all of our grass making equipment. Again, we can't we can't use any of that today either. Uh, so we want to drop off the shredder and grab this. And this will mean uh, yeah, this should should mean we can feed our animals quite well. Our I think our sheep, we're probably gonna want the bucket. Actually, let's clean our animals out first is a better idea. So we'll leave this here and we'll go and grab the bucket that we've got in here and clean the animals out first. Uh, that means that uh, the sheep will require less feed, uh, as will the cows, because uh, we'll be putting hay and silage, well, hay into the cows and, uh, and grass, oh, sorry, silage into the cows and grass into the sheep. And we were going to check on whether our stuff has moved at all in here. Whether we've got any more... Uh, whether we've got any more wool. Can we pick this up? Is that going to pick up? There we go. That's picked up. So 53 litres of grass to put in for our sheep. And let's just go and check this wool. We are checking if we're still doing any. No, 61%. So no more wool coming from our sheep anymore. Uh, that we kind of want to get out there and get ready for doing next year's. Or we can leave it there actually and it'll keep it under cover. So that will keep working. Let's turn around here and get this done. That field there, field uh, 52, 
getting very, very close to harvest. And I want to get that. I want to get that least when it comes up for harvest. Uh, will be our best bet for making the most of that field. I'm not looking to field flip. Uh, I definitely don't want to do any field flipping. Uh, but leasing the field in time to uh, to harvest it is going to be quite an important thing to us. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, of having a rule on here that I, I need to lease for at least a year or something along that lines. Uh, in order, you know, to not be not be doing an even cheaper version of field flipping. There we go. Oh, no, a little bit more. Yeah, and this will all go very nicely into here. So back off. And we're good. Right, so where does that leave our animals at the moment? That leaves our cows with a little bit of silage, our sheep with a little bit of grass. Uh, but they need both need a lot more stuff. So let's go uh, drop this off and grab our bale spike. Uh, if I put the if I put the hay bale in on the sheep first, uh, they'll take as much of that as they need, and then we can use the rest for our cows. There we go. So grab our bale spike. And it's quite useful having the the warzy here with that with the bale spike on it. At some point we need to get these out of here and uh, and get them offloaded and make it a lot easier for us to get our bales. Uh, it's not something we can do at the moment because obviously it's tipping it down with rain, and I don't want to get the bales to be uh, damaged. So how much do we have here? Four thousand liters. So somebody was saying in the comments, well that the straw bales you buy on here automatically come at 3,000 litres or 3,900 litres. So we'll test this with the straw bales we've got in a moment. But that to me seems a little bit weird. Uh, I don't know why you get just under 4,000 litres uh, from the straw bales. Will they take all of this? No. How much have they taken? Wow, 74 litres left. <laughs> Almost 4,000 litres going into the... In fact, yeah, 174. So they take, they do take a full uh, bales worth uh, in there. Our sheep. Uh, our cows will take all of this bale. And all of the next one as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, in tr I'm intrigued to see. We're going to have to lift a straw bale off here now anyway. And we're going to have to give straw to the cows in a minute. Uh, and we've not got a full bale in our bit. So let's have a look. How much is there on this straw bale? Because all of these are purchased ones. 4,000. So no, the, the straw bales we buy from the shop do have, do come as 4,000 litre bales. So that was, yeah, that's a bit odd. We do get 4,000 litre bales. Or might be, it might be on Little Norton that that was happening. But I don't see why the map would affect how much, uh, how much the bales, or how full the bales are uh, when buying them from the shop. We might be able to unload this in here, actually, fairly well. Yeah, let's do that. We're not using the hayloft. I really should use the hayloft. Uh, but there we go. It's done. I think eventually we may just uh, use piles rather than uh, actual. Well, we'll bale the straw. We'll probably we might use piles of hay because it's quicker to get them done. Let's get this off here. There we go. So that's those unloaded. Let's grab another hay bale and take that to our cows. I don't think we quite got on there then. Oh, just about. There we go. Whoa! Knocked it off. Wasn't on there very sturdily in the first place. So let's grab that more sturdily. 8.37, so we should be all right transporting strength. Porting this across the yard uh, while the rain is going. And then, once we've got this feed in here, 
we can go and sort out the straw. How's that for our cows? So that's our, yeah, our sheep are fully fed. Our cows, wow, our cows could do with two more bales. So we will do that. Uh, we can we can get a couple of bales over here. We do have a stack at the back. Yeah, this this basically we bought enough bales that we can do three full rounds. This midsummer rain is not great for us. It's uh, it basically yeah, it doesn't do us well. Causes us all sorts of issues. Um, see if we get stacking across the trailer can be a bit of a trouble. Especially if I can't see exactly where I'm stacking. There we go. Let's do it from this angle here. That will do. Should be a sturdy enough stack. And in. And then that bale gets pushed on the top there. Hopefully not knocking the other set off. Nope, we're good. And, oh. Can't see anything but wool there. There we go. So let's get this over and in. And both these bales should be taken by this, I think. There we go, and in, and drop. First one's in, second one is in, but has not been fully taken. Two thousand, wow, two and a half thousand liters left. We can, uh, we'll take that out, uh, because we don't need that. Oh, doing it at nine o'clock is not great, but we still have 2,500 liters in it, so that's okay. I think we did it just as it hit it. Which means we're all right. So let's drop this one here. And we're going to go and get our straw. Straw blower is attached to the front. And we've got just under a 1,000 litres. So we'll open all of this up. Uh, so that we can take this in here and, uh, and get it blown. I think we're going to take a couple of these at least to get this done. So let's uh, blow this straw in like so. And there we go. That is that bale in there. I should think that's a long way from full. Yes, that's a very long way from full. So it's lots of stuff dealing with the animals early on. And, and we should be able to get some silage bales or some grass bales back. Because they won't be fermented yet from this. Stop the cows getting out. And uh, yeah, if we can do that, we'll be uh, we'll be really good. We'll, we'll twenty four thousand plus holding some uh, back. Although we might try and add the bales if we can to our existing setup. But uh, let's grab another straw bale, which is in here. As I said, I think this will take all of it. How much did it take? So, yeah, I, th I think it's about 5,000 litres of straw by the looks of things. Certainly, I don't think we need to add another one in after this. Uh, that should cover it fairly nicely. Oh, and... Yeah, we're in. And down. And loaded. Perfect. So, we'll load this up. And... Then it's just the water that we need to get done. So back. Avoid hitting it if we can. Yeah, there we go. And up and done. So we're going to blow this into the cows as well. Uh, and then that will mean that they're, they're good to go for a couple of days. Uh, and we don't have to worry about it too much. I don't, there, there is so much rain in this geo. We're using the, the, the uh, I think it's the Brittany geo or the Britain geo uh, on here. It is unbelievably wet. 
I mean, for a, for a summer harvesting geo, it is it is so much rain. I I just yeah, I have no idea. Uh, they took they only took four thousand of that. That's interesting. But that's good. That means our cows are happy. Uh, we need to just go put this back. And then the last thing we need to do is get some water. So I've got my trailer hooked up. And I've tried to refill with water and realized why I can't. Even though water costs us nothing, we still have to be in the positive in order to get it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow 5,000 here. Like so. And then that should allow me to refill. Like so. That's just weird. And with our trailer refilled, we can head back over to the cows. Uh, and in fact, head into the cow field and get that get that done. And, uh, and drop the water off for them first. If we do that, what we can then do is take any leftover water to the sheep. I don't think we're going to have any leftover water based on previous. Uh, it would be nice if the cows did fill up, uh, or the, the rain did fill up the cows' water trough. But I, I don't think it does. So we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, I am looking to get uh, a manure spreader at some point in the future. And we do need to get a combine now. Now that we have our, a harvesting contract, uh, we need to get a combine and a trailer to do it. I did not close that gate. There we go. So let's head over this way. And we'll get this done. So yeah, fill this up. It's got a little bit of water in the trough, but not a lot. So we want to make sure that our cows are doing well. So let's unload this a little bit further back. There we go. And unloading it. And they are going to take all of this down to the last 2, 1%. We're nearly full on the trough. So how exactly how much? Yeah, that's actually really, really good. So cows are now good. We need to go and get some more water for the sheep. So uh, yeah, let's go do that. Oh, that's still in reverse. So we'll head forwards and head back up to go and refill with some more water. And, uh, and get the sheep done as well. Water trailer filled to just over 60%. The sheep are not going to take more than this uh, in order to uh, to get filled. So that'll be fine. Uh, we need to reverse into our sheep field as we've uh, discussed before. So I'll bring this round here. It is a bit odd having this, uh, having this small field here. Uh, really, really does impinge more on the yards than I expected it to. I've still got the space to move, and I'm still, I'm still okay. But I'm used to having that little bit of extra area to play around with that I've no longer got. And I think by the time I get finished here, it'll be, uh, it'll be fine, and I'll be used to it. But it's, it's a little bit odd. Uh, we will, as we're gonna hire field, well, field. 52 we are going to hire we're going to split field 52 at least into two fields because it's a bit big for us to handle uh as a single field like this uh, and i think we're gonna end up putting a uh sort of squaring it off uh, and then uh doing a, a bit of a an odd shaped field up the top as well uh, which should be quite good And then that should give us a good amount. We're, we're, yeah. Wow, that's far less than was needed for the sheet than I expected. Uh, and we'll be able to uh, then, yeah, get three different crops out of field two, uh, 52. It's a bit big for us otherwise. We want to check out which is cheaper to rent. Why is my gate stuck open? There we go. That's got it. Uh which uh, which is the cheaper for us to rent, 91 or 52? Because we rent the entire area. And it kind of depends on which one you rent, I think, how much it costs. Uh, but there's no way to see it ahead of time, I don't think. Anyway, that should be our animals done for today. Uh, and, uh, and all kept up 
pretty well for the next couple of days. I think our... We'll just check our chicken. Well, we're going to check them all once I've taken this off. We've definitely not got any more use for our water trailer. So let's have a look at our animals and the condition they're in. So the sheep are all good. The chickens are good. They'll need uh, feeding next game day. Um, and cattle are good. We've, we've not got anything. Uh, we're not doing any mixed ration yet on here. We're not using the uh, the Maze Plus extension on here. Uh, I am using it on some of my other series if you want to check that out. Uh, we'll just go close the door here into the sheep shed. Uh, and we'll take this down the bottom. And then I'm going to head up to the shop. And we will uh, get started on this baling contract. So we're up at the shop. And here is our equipment for this baling contract. Now I'm hoping that we can get this done fairly quickly. We've got our 8140 here. What is the power requirement for this baler? Uh, is my next question. Uh, because... Well, we've got two ways of doing this. We can put a front uh, mower on and baler behind, which would be a quick way, and then putting the wrapper behind. That would mean that we'd lose as little content as, oh, as little, yeah, content from the balers as possible. Or I can put all of these on the front with the rower behind and the baler behind that. I think in these conditions, normally that's what I'd do. I'd put all of this running on our Voltra. And, uh, and run that, uh, and then run the baler behind it with the Massey. But I think with this much rain, we're liable to lose stuff. So we're going to do it much simpler. We're going to put uh, the front mower on the front here, and then the, uh, the baler on the back, and just run around. It'll take us slightly longer to do the initial cut, but we will be straight up to the rowing as soon as... Uh, as soon as we've got the um, the the initial rounds on the field done. So, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be a much cleaner and easier way to do it in the rain. I think without the rain, we'd do it a different way. So, let's hook all that up and get the vault removed. Out of the way. And then we're going to hook our Massey up to the wrapper. We could possibly have had our other tractor coming up behind and uh, and collecting bales as well. But it's, it gets a little bit messy at that point. It's messy enough uh, with this tractor. So, uh, you know, getting this behind. But this should all be good. So let's uh, do that. And then we can get this. I want to back it off a little bit. 35 should do it. And um, we're going to want to offset it when we get up to the field. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to do exactly that. I'm going to get this lot up to field 88. Uh, and we'll get this all cut, baled, and wrapped. We're coming up to field 88 here on the right. And looking at it, it's quite an interesting field. Uh, in so far as... Uh, that hill on the far side, that is going to be a pain to come or to go up, I think. So what I'm going to do is we'll switch this like so. Down we go. Yeah. And then I want to switch over to the back. Open that up. There we go. And turn that on and drop it down. And hopefully... We're going to be able... Now, this is this is where the issue is. So, I need to now offset our rear, uh, our wrapper. And I'm not sure this is going to work. Let's uh, do this. I want to unfold this. Do we not have some... Nope, we are all connected up. Ah, because we're still on Follow Me. So maybe the trick to this is for us to take this tractor uh, and to run this and get the rest run on course play with the tractor in front. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start the course play. Uh, let's run a course from here. Field 88. I want you to do 
four headland passes. Current vehicle position. Uh, yeah, uh, no, we're going to do it from northeast. There we go. Uh, field 88. Headland passes first. Headland corners smooth. Generate. And hopefully. Yeah, hopefully that should do what we're after. So, uh, we are going to go from nearest waypoint and drive course. And let that get on with doing that. And then we can jump into here. And we can follow. And hopefully we'll be able to sort of pop in and get as close to the edge as we can and get these bales. But we should be near enough to get this uh, to get this to work it means we won't get the extra stuff at the edges but uh, there isn't a lot of extra edge here so that should be okay and uh, yeah let's see how this goes first bale is about to drop and thankfully it didn't happen on that first edge which is absolutely brilliant it has happened just here uh, which is great because that means that we are, uh, we're in a really good position now what that does has happened what has happened here is that uh, course play has fouled up so we'll reverse this up turn this corner and looking at this it looks like we've got the same I oh know we've not got the same issue that we've we've had everywhere else turn that on drop it down and what we'll do is we'll bring this round here onto this edge which is where it's going to have the issue and then we can start it off again going down this side hopefully we'll have a small gap but that's okay drive course that hopefully will not hit that edge there and we can drop this when the great thing about doing it this way is we are in complete control of where bales drop and things. So, for example, here, I can drop this bale. Well, not on the top, which is where, what I want to avoid doing. But we've got to drop it in a plane. I know how we'll drop this. We can catch up easily. But what I want to do is I want to drop this in a place where it's not going to interfere with our baler as it comes to do a headland. So if we drop it... On the cut area here out of the way in a way that we couldn't drop it if this was on follow me and this tractor would not be able to do follow me around this this field like this so we'll drop it like that there we go and that then should not interfere with our bailer and we can head down here and we'll see. I think we've probably got... Yeah, we've got two bales dropped around here. So we're going to do the same thing with these. We're going to come out into the field, round, pick these up, wrap them and drop them off. That way, we know that we're good. And we're able to keep the baler away. And it looks like the baler is having the same trouble. Yeah. Exactly the same trouble on this corner. So we'll stop this driver. Reverse it out. Once it gets round this first headland, should be okay. It's just this first headland that's going to cause the issues. There we go. And it's off again. And that, to me, looks like that's doing the second row, not the first. So I'll bring this back up. Yeah, very square field with a very tight edge. Uh, I don't know if we can remove the electric fence on this. That would have been uh, a great thing to have been able to have done. We may find out and know for next time. But, yeah, this is ready to drop. And we'll go and grab the next one. And yeah, this is this is working like a charm at the moment. Doing it this way is absolutely brilliant. So I'm going to keep going. Uh, we'll get this field done some more. And we'll see how many bales we end up with.
It's 10 to 6 in the evening in game and we are up to 23 bales, I think it is. Uh, which is quite an impressive number. Uh, we're, we don't seem to even be halfway through the field yet, which is uh, quite something as well. That bale, I need to go and try and pinch from behind the tractor. It is getting stuck, so we'll get this out of here. Get that out of the way and let that get turned around. Uh, oh, there we go. Bit snaky around there. That's all good. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're about 20, uh, two dozen bales off here now. That is going to have the issue there. So let's stop driver. Let's reverse this out and get this turned around. Um, but yeah, we've got, uh, we've got this far through here. So I think what we're going to do, and the rain is coming again. Um, it did stop for a little while. Uh, but what I think we'll do is we'll pick this up again next time. Uh, get this finished off and, uh, and get the 24,000 euros for this job. Let's bring this here and start it off. Uh, which will be good. Uh, will be exactly what we're after. Um, but this is good progress for the first day. We're going to we're gonna be in the same boat really uh, next time. Uh, we want to be getting contracts and stuff done while we've got the rain and while we're waiting for our own harvest to start. We're also going to keep an eye out for field uh, 52 because what we need... Field 56, we've got field 52 is almost ready. I think that's going to come ready next game day. So we want to grab that. We want to grab the lease for that pretty much immediately uh, so that we can look to harvest that and get a nice big field full of barley off there. That will be great. Um, but yes, this field here is going to take a little bit longer, which is fine because we've, we've got the rain. We've got the time to do it. It is, uh, it is looking fairly wet. And then we've got a bit of drying out going on. Hopefully enough to get some harvesting done. Uh, but we'll see where we go from that. Which means that all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.